I am fired up today. We are going to have such a good time together. If you saw my last podcast, it was about finances and creating your next goods or services that you can sell right now. If you don't have something that you can sell right now to help you move forward in your finances, go back and listen to my last podcast, number 12, where I talk about how to figure out your goods and services. But we are going to jump right in with some prayer. Quick introduction. I'm Katie Smith. I've been a life and business coach since the fall of 2019 when our family ministry came to an end. And I went before the Lord and I was like, what am I going to do now? And very quick, He had already been planting seeds about going into coaching, which I absolutely love because we all need someone who's going to be our cheerleader, who's going to say, you can do this. You can move forward. You can break through. So that's what we're going to do today on this podcast. Let's kick it off with some prayer. Lord Jesus, you are infinite. There is nothing you cannot do. And right now I pray for things to change in my heart, in my mind, and in the mind of my listener, that things would change in their heart and in their mind as we talk about these truths about entrepreneurship and in the marketplace. How do we get breakthrough? How do we move beyond just living paycheck to paycheck? Father, you will reveal people's new income streams as we talk through this show. Thank you, God, for this podcast. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for the listener. I pray in the name of Jesus for blessing on them and their families that they will create legacy, impact, and wealth for your name's sake, Jesus, and so that we can release money into the world to right the wrongs and to bring redemption for your glory and for the love of those that you have created. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. So on the last podcast, we were talking about determining what you can sell right now in terms of goods and services. Go back and listen to that if you don't have something you can sell already. But on this podcast, we're going to be talking about this thing in business and entrepreneurship called the offer ladder. Woo! The offer ladder. What is an offer ladder? I wish I had known this from the start. An offer ladder is like, let's say you get an idea to use oils to create soaps or candles. That is one rung on your offer letter. And let's say you sell those candles for $29. That's a $29 item on your offer letter. You can have items that cost more than that, and you can have items that cost less than that. But the idea is we're always thinking, what is the next thing that I can offer either at a lower price point or a higher price point that's going to draw a new market to you so that you can grow your impact and influence and income and all that good stuff, right? So if that makes sense to you, that's what we're talking about on this podcast. So let's say, like, I I feel like a lot of people have gone into like Etsy and stuff like that. Um, That's one idea. Let me tell you about somebody I met the other day. So I met this person the other day who was over a sales team for a media company. And I was like, I have an idea for you. (laughs) Let's say, you know, he right now is not an entrepreneur. He's coaching a sales team. Like literally that's his job is to coach a sales team so that they're successful for this media company. And I was like, if he wrote a book on that, that might be an offer ladder rung. So maybe he sells the book for 20 bucks, 1999 for the paperback. Okay. So he could have that and then he could create a course and he could sell the course. Maybe you start off at like 99 bucks and maybe it's like a simple course on selling basics. And then maybe he has like a more advanced course and that's like a four week course. So for selling basics, 99 bucks, four weeks, something like that, or, you know, four in-depth sessions. And then he has another offer, which is to deliver the course live in a coaching group. And maybe it's a 10 week group because it's going to take them from point A to point B. And all along the way, the people are learning something, but people are going to pay more to have a live experience than they would a recorded experience. So maybe he charges $4.99 $4.99 for that program. And now he's building out the rungs on his offer ladder. And maybe at some point he decides he's going to coach coaches of sales teams, right? And how to grow their offer ladder. And so he's going to not offer ladder, but how to grow their sales team and get to the next level. So then maybe he has like a $10,000 a year mastermind that is just for sales teams. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? 
<laughs> this is amazing. So for me, like I'm a coach. Um, that is like my primary thing. My first offer that I had to sell is being a coach. So I'm a relationship coach, health and fitness coach, um, business coach. I do all of these different areas. Why? Because I can help you move from point A to point B. Coaching is a really interesting thing. And if, you, if you're like, well, Katie, you're not like an expert fitness trainer. And I'm like, I don't have to be an expert fitness trainer to be a really good coach. Um, if you saw the movie Chariots of Fire, there's a coach in that film that he never runs a lap, but he coaches his coachee into a gold medal, even though he never runs a lap. So it's not about and this is important for you to pick up, like you don't have to be the one to get the result, but can your client get the result through the coaching that you offer? So if you're a coach, just think about that. Or if you want to be a coach, think about that. Can I help somebody get a certain result? And what is that result? That could be one of the areas. So that would be a service that you offer. And it's probably going to be pretty pricey. Like you're one-on-one -on -one coaching might be 500 a month and it's maybe it's only a half an hour a week. Um, but there you go. That's an offer on your offer ladder. Maybe you take your coaching process and you turn it into a book on Amazon. So that would be another rung on your offer ladder. And then you have your courses and you have your speaking events and you have all these kind of things. Are you, are you catching what I'm getting? Even if you're only working like, let's say with essential oils and you started off by making those candles, the $29 candles that I mentioned, well, what if you decided that you're going to create a little mini course on how to start your own candle making business, or maybe you just start with how to make candles and you just sell that little course. And maybe, you know, certain things about certain types of candles and certain types of wax and certain types of wicks, like all that is knowledge that can save somebody else time. And if you turn that into a recorded um, course, you could benefit from that guy that could be an offer on your offer ladder. So what I want you to think about, and I, I really want this to stay top of mind for me and for all the ladies that I'm talking to, because I'm just thinking, man, if I had known this when my babies were little, I would have had so much more hope. I would have been like, okay, what can I do next to um, bring in income and money and resources and stuff like that? Because we were so strapped. It was so stressful. And even now it's like, okay, what does the market need that I can offer? So for you, what does the market need that you can offer right now? And sometimes you won't know until you start doing different things. Now, here's another rung on the offer ladder that we haven't even talked about, and that's your free offers. Free offers could be your podcast, could be a webinar, could be um, a challenge, it could be a virtual summit. Those can all be free things that then you turn into paid courses or books after it's been recorded. And I know I'm talking really fast, so we're not going to talk for very long today because the ideas that I'm putting out there, there's a lot of ideas. You might want to listen to this session more than one time because there are a lot of ideas that I've touched on. So an offer ladder is just deciding what are the goods or services that you can offer at different price points. And so you might even want to just like pause this event right now, this podcast, and just start writing things down. That would be a really wise thing to do because the last thing I want you to do is to walk away from this podcast and be like, wow, that was so inspiring, but I forgot what she said. <laughs> but the good news is if you're subscribed, you can go back and listen to it again and again and again, right? <laughs> so your offer ladder, the bottom of the rung is going to be your free stuff. Top of the rung is going to be really expensive stuff. That's going to be like your virtual or not virtual. That's going to be like your one year program where it's an in-person mastermind. Maybe you go to some really cool location and you bring in other industry leaders and you fully, you know, sell it out. That would be amazing. And those things go for 25,000 per member. That can, that can be very lucrative. Um, and that's a whole nother level. And I, I want you to be thinking in terms of that is where are you headed? Where do you want to be in 20 years or 40 years, and not just in your finances, but also in your faith, in your fitness, in your family relationships. If you become successful financially, but you've left everyone who really matters in this life behind, that would be losing. That would not be winning. 
And so there is going to be some tension there about how do we live life really well? And so in my, the coaching that I do, it's never just about finances. It's never just about fitness. It's never just about finding that partner and that spouse that you've been looking for, or even just about growing in your relationship with God. Although I do believe everything comes out of or is disconnected from your relationship to God. So it starts with that, but all of it works together. And this is why I'm so glad you're here with me enjoying this, this podcast, because we've got to think in terms of, and we need to be reminded of constantly that our faith, our fitness, our family relationships, and our finances, they're all connected. So for you, at the end of this podcast, which will be just in a moment, because we're going short today, um, because there's so much information, I want you to think about what are the goods and services that you sell And then what are the different price points that you can sell things at? So you can sell your candles for 29 bucks. Then maybe you have a $49 or $99 course that teaches other people how to make candles and sell them on a specific platform. Um, But taking people from point A to point B, and then what can you do beyond that? So it's so important. And this would even be worth your time to like turn this into a workshop of like, okay, we're going to do this low end thing here, this low offer on the offer ladder. And then what is the next one? And then the next one and the next one. So maybe for you listening to this uh, podcast again and again, it's going to be something that is going to serve you for the rest of your life. And who do you know that needs to have an offer ladder where they have different goods and services that they've already thought ahead about that they've put a price tag on and they say, okay, I know this is worth this much, or I'm going to find out what this is worth in the market and start working towards that. Because at the end of the day, we want financial freedom. We want financial abundance. We want to be able to help and serve other people and be generous. And the way that we do that is by creating more goods and services that the world needs. So I hope that has inspired you and fired you up. Get out your journal, get out your pen, start writing down what your offers are. What can you sell? What can you give away for free? Where do you want to be 20 to 40 years from now? What can you sell? What can you give away? Where do you want to be 20 and 40 years from now? That's your assignment from today's podcast. I want to hear if you did it. And uh, coming up, hot newsflash if you are um around on april 27th 2023 at 11 a.m central time register for my webinar it is on my website on under podcasts and blogs so i'll put the link in this uh show details and also i'll put it on my blog It will be there soon, and I can't wait to see you on my live event where we will be learning how to do Facebook ads together and successfully. (laughs) Facebook ads on Thursday, together and successfully. See you then and there. Let me know what you did for your homework. (laughs) Bye-bye.